Good evening, good evening, good evening, welcome to the worship night. All right, give me a little more than that, we're worshiping the King of Kings, come on, let's go. That's better, welcome, welcome, this is the Lifeline Celebrate Recovery Worship Concert, we're so glad you're here, I am Pastor Mike, the pastor at Life Coast Church, and we are hosting tonight, and there'll be more people streaming in as they get off work, so what we want them to see when they come in is just incredibly extra extravagant worshipers. Is that where we're going to be tonight? All right, good. I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Josh of Lifeline so he can pray for us. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming out and being a part of what we're doing. My team has worked so hard with other churches from, the, from Palm Coast. Flagler County area to just put this on for you guys. We've got some bands from Jacksonville tonight, St. Augustine. I mean, they're coming from all over because we believe in what God is doing in this community. And we just thank you from the bottom of our heart that you would be willing to venture into this adventure with us. So thank you. Um, if God lays it on your heart tonight to give to this program, in the back we're going to have guys with buckets, man. If you give, you give. If you don't, you don't. But we believe in this program. We believe in the freedom that it's providing. And we are going to take this county by storm. So do me a favor. Rise with me. And let's pray. Let's just welcome in the Holy Spirit for what God's doing tonight. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We believe in you. Thank you for allowing us to be part of what you're doing in this community. Because we're not worthy. But you have paid the cost for our freedom from any type of hurt hang up or habit that we carry Lord God it might not be us it's somebody that we know and we just ask that you bring them in that they find freedom that they find hope in your name amen yeah, let's worship. hey everybody we're super excited to be here tonight we're the Thomas sisters we're from Evangel Assembly of God here in Palm Coast and as I said we're just super excited to be here tonight so uh, let's get ready to worship
you for this time of worship, Father God. Praise you, Jesus. All right, let's give it up for the Thomas sisters one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Can everybody hear me? Everybody, everybody having a good time? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I am Helen, and I'm a Christ follower who struggles with codependency. And tonight, I want to tell you how God and Celebrate Recovery had made a great impact in my life. All righty. I never heard the term codependent, much less think I was one until I attended Celebrate Recovery, also referred to as CR. So for those who don't know what codependency is, here are some traits I learned very quickly. The codependent is a master of enabling and controlling. They allow themselves to be affected by other people's feelings, burdens, or behaviors. The codependent is boundaryless. My reason for attending CR is due to my son, who is a recovering drug addict. About eight years ago, I spoke to another parent who had the same problem with his son, and he suggested that I try this program. I was so desperate to get help and support because my world became insane with this addiction, and I had to do something very quickly. When I went to the first meeting, I remember saying to them, okay, tell me how to make my son, my son stop using drugs. And they said, oh, you came to the right place, but it's you that needs to be changed first. So you see, I wanted the cake without knowing the recipe. I soon learned that the ingredients were through this program. I began to attend weekly meetings and even started a step study, and this is where the rubber meets the road. I realized that I am powerless in changing anyone but myself. See, I've been a codependent for years and wasn't aware of it. What I was looking for was a balanced life, but what I had was an unstable life out of control. My world was spinning so fast I can barely hold on. I was in the insanity circle, which is when you do the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You see, my son became a drug addict at 14 and he is now 24 and he still continues to struggle with his addiction. It's overwhelming to see your son struggle and spiraling downward. All I wanted to do was to protect him from the harm he was causing to himself. I became the enabler and very controlling as the years passed, it got worse. My whole world was wrapped up into his world and it became insane. I was the responsible and happy one, and he was irresponsible and happy. And I would ask myself, what is wrong with this picture? I was in denial, I blamed others, and constantly rescued him. God had him by the arms and I had him by the feet playing tug of war. I would monitor everything he did. It got to the point that I neglected my husband and my son. I would ask myself, how can you raise one child different than the other? I also have another son. And I finally got it after being in Celebrate Recovery Step Study. It was his choice. You see, there is two practices I now put into place, making healthy choices and setting boundaries. I finally came out of my denial a few years ago. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. I had to release control and surrender. The fear inside of me was so unexplainable. I had to let my son make his own choices. I didn't even cry that hard when my mom died, whose birthday is actually today. You see, she died at 39 and left three kids, and I was 19 and the oldest. And this is where my codependency began. I also learned from this program how to forgive. I finally forgave my father after 45 years. That is why this, power, this program is so powerful. I am experiencing freedom in ways I never knew how to. Well, I have to tell you folks, I know how difficult it is for an addict. God revealed to me what it was like to go through withdrawal. You see, I am one too. I am an addict to my son's behavior. I protected my son for so many years and it was time to let go. 
My son has relapsed repeatedly. He has, begin, he has been in and out of rehabs, and every time he relapsed, I did too. So as time went on, I learned how to work with addiction. I began to set boundaries. The one thing I struggled with is if he used, he needed to leave my home. I knew by making this promise to God, I couldn't break it. I thought the fear inside of me would eat me alive, but through God's strength and my support team, I was able to set this boundary in motion. My son left our home about four years ago and put himself into a rehab. I was doing a disservice to him and to myself if he remained in our home. I remember a pastor once said, don't bring drama in your home. You can take control of you and your surroundings if you choose. What I learned is that you need to make boundaries and keep them. I never knew what a boundary was because my parents didn't place boundaries on us. What you got was a whack and that was it. And that was the extent of me knowing my boundaries. Once I realized that I couldn't change my son and stop making him use, the Lord was able to begin his plan for our lives. I also realized that I can only change me and my reaction to my circumstances, and that Jesus Christ alone has the power to change our circumstances. We are powerless to do anything on our own. In 2 Corinthians 12.9, Jesus says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I still have my challenges with codependency, and I still am continuing to work on my relationship with my son, remembering that this is a work in progress, not perfection. But because Christ is the center of our family, we know that all things will work for good. We just need to get out of God's way and let him work on his plan. Let go, let God. I couldn't have started my walk with the Lord without this program. I have stepped out of denial and now have hope. Jesus Christ has now filled the void that I was missing, and he completes me. Well, the next chapter begins. It came to a point where both my children were on their own and doing well. We lived in New Jersey, and my husband and I began thinking about downsizing. We toyed with the idea of selling our home. One day at work, I remember so vividly, I heard this distinct voice in my head telling me, sell your home and move to Florida. It was so bizarre, because I repeated it out loud and knew it was God telling me to move. When I told my husband he was so excited, we immediately called the realtor. My husband and I visited Palm Coast a few times, and he always wanted to retire here, but I would always say no because I didn't want to leave my children or my family. But when I heard that voice, I knew it was a direct order I had to follow. I know there is a purpose why he wanted me here, and I have an inkling it was Celebrate Recovery. Well, we did move in 2009, and um, even then I wanted to be a leader and was hoping to find a, C a CR here in Palm Coast. I was able to find a few, but something still was nagging at me about going further. Well, it finally happened. About a year and a half ago, I joined Lifeline Celeb Celebrate Recovery. Yay! I believe in my heart that God led me to join this great team here at Lifeline. It felt right the moment I met everyone. I am currently a leader here facil facilitating a step study, and it is the greatest experience so far work walking with the Lord. Because of CR, I have been blessed with new friendships in my life, and I know it will last a lifetime. I learned to look at people in a different way because you don't know what they're going through. We should never judge anyone. It's through this program that I continue to see that true happiness is having a day-by-day, moment-by-moment relationship with Jesus Christ. Celebrate Recovery is just not for alcoholics, drug addicts, or codependents. It's for anyone that struggles with any kind of hurt, habit, or hang-up, which all we, we all have. I want you to know that Celebrate Recovery is a safe and loving place, and if you work the program, it will work for you. It has truly changed my life and my relationship with my Creator. I would like to leave you with the scripture. God is our refuge and strength ever, and ever-present help in trouble. Psalms 46.1. And I don't have to walk in my old pair of shoes anymore because now there's only one set of footprints in the sand. Thanks for letting me share. Time to rise on your feet one more time. Again, we are Life Coast Church, and 
And uh, we just have an incredible night still planned for you guys, a powerful testimonies, powerful videos, more worship. We hope that you engage with the presence of Christ. Amen? Amen. All right, let's bring some more worship. Uh-oh, we lost a guitarist. I guess they want me to preach a sermon. Be a great time to practice for Sunday's message, just kind of bringing it, you know. <laughs> All right. Come on, let's help him out here. I mean, no oh, awesome God. Awesome God, let's go. All right, it goes like this. You are awesome. You are God. You are an awesome God. Sing that with me now. Let's go. You are awesome. You are God. You are an awesome God. Come on, let's bring it. You are all I'm living for today, Master, Savior. I have come to seek you, Jesus. You are all I'm living for today, Master, Savior. I have come to seek your face. Humble myself and pray. Amen. We got people from all denominations. We got people coming in off the street. And it's going to look just like heaven like it is in this room. Isn't that an awesome thing? Somebody should say amen. That's an awesome thing. It kind of reminds me of Jesus' prayer when he says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we should be singing about that. Amen. Why don't you go ahead and sing that with me? It goes something like this. Our Father in heaven, establish now your kingdom. All power, dominion, be to our awesome God. Our Father in heaven, establish now your kingdom. All power in heaven, be to you are awesome God, our Father in heaven. It's God, now your kingdom, all power in heaven. You are awesome God, our Father in heaven. Establish now your kingdom, all power, dominion. You are awesome, awesome, awesome God. 
Our chains have fallen off and we are free to serve our Savior. Are you with me tonight? We're not holding anything back. Put your hands together. I am chosen, I am free, I am living for eternity, free now forever, you pick me up, turn me around, you set my feet on something, yours now forever, and nothing's gonna hold me back, no nothing's gonna hold me back. Nothing's gonna hold me back I am chained so if my heart was free I'm alive to live for you I'm alive to live for you
Amen. We are free in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's no place like being in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen.
may be seated. Things that trip us up, wear us out, and box us in. Stuff like anger. What is wrong with you? Addiction. Overeating. <laughs> and overspending. It was amazing. It has a great self. We carry around past relationships. I don't know what I ever saw in you. I didn't dress well. Worry. Unforgiveness. And selfishness. It makes us ask questions like, why did I do that? Or, how did I get here? And what is wrong with me? Because this stuff is heavy. It's broken. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It makes everything in life hard, especially relationships. You might not know where it came from, or how you got it, but there's only one way to deal with that. Throw it down. Drop it. Just let it go. Sounds easy, but it's not. You carry something long enough, it feels like a party. You walk away, but a minute later, it's back in your hand. Bag is tricky like that. You gotta keep dropping, keep throwing, keep letting go, so you can take hold of something better. God's best for your life. And for that, you're going to need both hands. Celebrate and recover. Real help for life's back. Maybe soon at a church near you. Crossroads Calvary Chapel in Ormond Beach. Woo! Uh, we are excited to be here tonight. We are happy uh, that Josh invited us to be out. We've sung at uh, CR a couple of times during the uh, Friday night sessions. So if you've heard us there, uh, this will be a good taste for you. We appreciate you guys coming out and supporting CR. It is an awesome ministry. And uh, we hope you enjoy some worship this evening. We're still setting up. How much more can I talk? Uh, I can introduce everybody. I got a minute. This is Gabe on the keyboard. We got Ryan on drums. Ryan Speed on drums. We have Tyler Speed on bass in the back here. Courtney on acoustic. Andrew Sharp on electric. We've got the entire Spina clan here. We have Janessa Spina on vocals. <laughs> this is my amazing wife, Jeanette. My name is Mark, so are we, are we ready to go? All right, we're ready to go. So we hope you guys have a good time tonight. Enjoy some awesome worship, and we're ready. Do you know what? Let's do it. No, I'm not a shame. No, I'm not a shame. You guys know it, sing it out with us. The power of your love running through my heart. Shame has lost its grip on me. The glory of your cross shining on my soul. Grace has got a hold on me. From the rooftop, saying I'm not ashamed of the one who saved my soul. I'm not ashamed of the one who saved my soul, my soul This fire inside of me is burning for your name A 
I'm not ashamed. Hey, hey, no, I'm not ashamed. Hey, hey. But no, I'm not ashamed. All right, sing it out with me. The flame is getting stronger. The flame is getting stronger. The song is playing louder. We can't hide this love away. There's nothing to fear now. Send us in your path. Jesus, take us all the way. From the rooftop, sing, I'm not ashamed of the one who saved my soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Thank you guys for singing out. Let's keep it going. God is ever 
Of the world on his shore. 